How's it going, guys? I'm Dan. And I'm Andy. Welcome to Game Couch. Right, today we're going to be taking a look at the Halo Reach multiplayer. Reach was the last Halo game that Bungie made, and it's the prequel to the Halo series as a whole. We really wanted to do Halo Reach because um, Halo 2 was the game that got both of us really yeah. into Xbox Live in the first place, and uh, our first experiences were playing online in that sort of way. So um, we figured we'd do the most recent one, um, especially because it's the last game that Bungie's going to be doing, which was uh, the company that made Halo 2 in the first place that got us onto it. And also, of course, in the build-up to Halo 4, we will be doing the Halo series as a whole, so just keep an eye out for that. Should we play? Yeah, let's, let's go. go. Right. Hey, well, here Halo we Ridge go. Halo Reach uh, right, where are we going? I, I don't know, I hate this map though. And I'm not looking forward to playing this. Oh, online. I'm on bottom screen. <laughs> yeah, there's people, there's people. I got completely lost there, I didn't realise I was on the bottom screen. How do you jump? I remember how to jump. <laughs> right, go on, are you get me halo head back on? It's I'm been not... so long. I remember that was sprint. Yeah, so did I. Oh no! Right, anyway. Halo Online. Halo Reach is Bollocks. the third of the Halo series, which has had Xbox Live kit ability. Halo 2 being the first one. <laughs> and um, Halo 2 was really the first big Xbox Live shooter. Because there was <laughs> no other competition at the time. And, um, no, not really. Especially because Halo 1 was such a massive hit. When, in, well, when it came out, it was sort of a just an avalanche of success for Halo. Well, it was the first game that proved that uh, shooters could work on console. That was the big thing about the first Halo, more than anything else. Aye, because then before that, like, COD and modern... Sorry, COD and um, Medal of Honor have been for PC, and not Well, PC, not so much. The Medal of Honor games had been on the PS1 and stuff. But then... But Halo I, was... What? Is that right, though? Because there was lots of first-person shooters on consoles prior, like Doom, etc. Yeah, there was, but Halo was the first one that proved that the the first-person shooter could work with, the, with like... Thingy controllers because first person shooters on consoles before were always really awkward. No, oh, yeah. Oh, well, it was one of the first to like make it actually intuitive and smooth. Yeah. But um, when Halo 2 came out, the um, like the prospect of it being online and having multiplayer where you don't get punched in the side of the leg off killing somebody, etc., was just. Um, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I remember when I first got Xbox Live, it was incredible. Apart from the fact it didn't work for Fuck. three months because it was buggy as hell and my internet wasn't great. <laughs> Yeah, Halo 2 really was like the ultimate first proper online shooter that worked, that had a big community, a community that was excited to do something new rather than, I don't know, it, just, it was just something special about it. It was different and it was big. Yeah, and it, it like I remember waking up, it was like during the summer when it first sort of came out and we all got Xbox Live, it was like, wake up, play the Xbox on live. <laughs> go to bed, go wake to bed, up. wake up, play Halo. That's all we did for like a year. There was a huge problem with Halo 2 though, and that is, although the online was amazing because it was, well, the first one to really do it, uh -huh. it kind of sank all the eggs into that basket and uh, the campaign was just catastrophic. Yeah, we'll talk about that later though. Oh, <laughs> the Halo 3 just didn't feel the same to me like at all. It was just flat, I don't know, I felt empty. Like, it didn't seem to have, it didn't grab us the same way. I mean, I'm sure the Halo 3 culture was massive. It was bound to have yeah. been huge. Well, it was. It was just... The, the, the Bungie culture's always been huge online since Halo 2, but for me, personally, I just didn't didn't like it as much. I didn't play it as, anywhere near as much. It was big. I remember when Halo Reach came out, after the, the shocking state of affairs with the Halo 3 campaign, and then the not very impressive multiplayer, in my personal opinion, of course... Um, I was really dubious about Halo, about Halo Reach, and um, I, I really liked it. I still do. I think the Halo Reach Online really brought it back for me. Sorry. Oh, yeah, I thought I think Reach is a step in the right direction for them, definitely. Well, it's their last step in the, any direction, I suppose. Yeah, Bungie, was... but um, yeah, I think Reach kind of got to where Bungie was trying to get. Yeah, it was like the it. second best Halo game ever made. Yeah, well, yeah, it was because um, the um, the attention to the online kind of ruined the second one, and uh, well, the, well, Re sorry, Halo Three was sort of on the way there, if you know what I mean. It was sort of it was halfway between, but then Reach came out and the campaign was quite good. Um, the online is good, it's much better than Halo Three and Two, so it's much more solid. It seems to be mm -hmm. just 
it's just part of the evolution. Yeah. And uh, you do realise that Halo 2's problems with campaign wasn't just down to the multiplayer, it was also down to the fact that they ran out of time to make the game and therefore had to cut it in half. Did they? Yeah. I did not know that. Come on, where's he gone? Some of the stuff that was in the beginning of Halo <laughs> Sorry, this is awful. 3 had to be in Halo 2. <laughs> oh shit. Some of the stuff that was in the beginning of Halo 3 should have been in the end of Halo 2. Oof. Ah. Oh. Yeah, sorry, I was listening there, but that fight was hectic and awful from both of our parts. I'm doing terrible at this today, like... Even better than me, I've only got six goals. Apparently we're winning as well. <laughs> <laughs> so what, was that, what was that? Some of um, the end of Halo 2 had to be slapped on the beginning of Halo 3. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realise that uh, I ran out of time. Yeah, even Bungie acknowledged that the Halo 2 single player wasn't as good as it could have been. I like the inclusion of... Um, the the armor functions on Halo Reach things like the sprint oh, and the, yeah. uh, the power shield and stuff like that. Well, that was an evolution of the um, the the gadgets and gizmos on uh, the X, but not Halo Three, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. and we're still playing SWAT. <laughs> I like SWAT. I think SWAT's one of my favorite game types. One of one of I like SWAT. I've always liked SWAT. I played SWAT Lords on Halo Three as well. Yeah. Aha. But I see. I like the fact that SWAT started on Halo 2 is a custom custom game type that somebody else, like one of the community had invented. Yeah. There was a what one thing I've never had with Halo 3 or Reach was the um it's probably just because I'm not fourteen anymore and I don't have loads of friends who are all playing the same games as me, but it's the um I remember on Halo 2 playing just big private games. With lots yeah. of my friends. And uh, I mean I used to do it with you and uh some of our other friends, but I've never done it on Reach on Free. Nah, uh, like you say, it's because there's not enough. <clears throat> there's not enough of us um, played anymore. Yeah, but I do like how they've kind of they took a lot of the games that were invented in Halo One, like um, uh, Fiesta in yeah. Halo Two. Fie what well, Fiesta was meant where your average lifespan was about a second because you spawned with a random weapon, jumped in the middle of the map, and fired it off like, and tried to get somebody else. It was like thirty seconds, thirty minutes of war, wasn't it? Yeah, something thirty like that. minutes of thirty. Yeah, I can't speak. Something along the lines, anyway. Oh, I'm picking it back up, I think. Now that I've turned my luck sensitivity up, <laughs> and I can move around without anything. That was one of the gripes I always <clears> heard about um, playing shooters on consoles, especially people coming from playing like Counter Strike and mm -hmm. uh, things like the really PC uh, bred mm -hmm. first person shooters, was just like the sensitivity on a PC. You can whip around 180 degrees in a moment. See, do you know what it is though? Do you know why I was having bother with the look sensitivity in this being so low? Is because it's quite high already in in COD. Yeah, it is. It's really darty, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Precise. And that when I come, when I come to play games that are a bit more slow, I I feel lost. Tell you one of the other things I liked about um, Halo, the uh, Reach specifically, the fact that the Spartan that you play as transfers from your, your campaign into your multiplayer as well. There's not many games do that. Um, really? Yeah, you don't do it. I've only really just clicked on with that. It's like you you build your Spartan how you want it to look. I mean, obviously you, you start off with a limited amount of um, of gear, um, and but as you get further into the game and you do more things, you unlock more stuff. So you build your Spartan as you go on, and it looks like I say he or she looks the same in the multiplayer as she does in the in the campaign. I think it makes it feel more personal. It's one of the reasons why I quite like playing this so much. I, I never really clicked on that. When you said that, there I was going to contest you because I thought, hang on, do you not just play as chief? But uh, you no, don't do you? Not, yeah. in, not in reach. You don't. <laughs> I you don't. Do you? I, yeah, I like that. I like that. See, this is the thing I like about B B um, Bungie is they listen to their fan base. Their fan base. Not a lot of the people were very keen on Elite. More people wanted to play as Spartans more often. Yeah. That's why there's so many options in this compared to there was in Halo 2 and 3. Ah, see, I was always disappointed that they didn't give you as much choice to do with the Elite. But then again, you only really play as the Elite on like three game types mm -hmm. compared to all of the others. Yeah. So it would look a bit odd running around as a Spartan with your Chief. Sorry, with... Um, you elite, your elite friend. Yeah. There was also a big problem in Halo 3, which I know lots of people complained about, how people played as their elites while playing SWAT because they couldn't be headshot from behind. Yeah, they changed the kill box slightly. Supposedly, I don't really know if it's true because I never had a problem killing people in the back of the head with a on SWAT. No, no just the elites. 
It's just the elites. I, I mean, the elites, that's what I'm saying. I never ever had a problem killing elites shooting in the back of the head, so I don't know if that was people whinging because they said it was harder to uh, to hit or whether it was genuinely harder to hit, if you know what I mean. Whether people were just saying it was. Oh, no, I had, a, I had a load of problem with it. I found the elites that were really easy to headshot. From, from the, the side, side they were yeah. much easier to headshot from the side and the front than the Spartans because you aimed for the big mass because they had really big heads. Mm -hmm. But from behind, um, if you were level with them, the back arched up level mm -hmm. with the head so you couldn't get them from behind. And I know a lot of people chose to play as them just for that reason. So I suppose that's why they've made it so you have to play as your Spartan on a, on a SWAT and things like that and Slayer. I think part of the other thing as well to do with playing as a Spartan was um, Bungie well, wanted the game to feel more personal than it did in the previous ones yeah, so like because we're not nine foot reptilian aliens yeah exactly just more personal playing as a humanoid oh crap 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 come on Fonzo you knob oh <laughs> oh we're finished <laughs> oh we're playing snipers this time yeah have you noticed how much easier it is to get into a game on this oh, what don't get to choose me thing <laughs> Than, than it is on um, like Gears of War, where you yeah. spend ages waiting. I think it's probably because there might be probably be more people playing Halo than there is Gears. Maybe you get the option of a quick game and in um, Gears as well. And yeah. when we, I know when we were playing, there was only about two thousand people playing when we were doing Gears, and there's always a consistent like seventeen thousand when, you, when you're playing yeah. uh, when you're playing Halo. For me, the console first person shoot was probably always going to be Halo. Well, well, at least for multiplayer, anyway. It was the f it, well, because it was the first, wasn't it? Yeah. Or do you just think it's better anyway? There's just something about it. There's something about the feel of it. I really like the over-the-top color scheme, the um, like the kind of just on the edge of over-exaggerated things about the gun sizes and everything. Just kind of looks a little bit cartoony, mm -hmm. and it's I find mm -hmm. it more entertaining to like my inner ten-year-old compared to uh, COD's supposed realism. But I mean, you, you kind of. You can get away in this in, in Halo with being shot six or seven times in the chest and then coming yes. out the other side because the chief is a superhuman or the Spartans is a superhuman. He's not. That's, an, that's he's, the point. He's not a. Well, I was going to say he's not a member of the SES, but they're pretty much superhuman anyway, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 15. Well, remember how good we were at Halo Two because of how much we played it. When we got together in a team, we were almost unstoppable. Yeah. I, rem I remember something about me playing Halo 2. I was have, I'd have an awful game, and then I would have an incredible game. Yeah. I'd go from one extreme, one extreme, one extreme to the other. One ice cream to the other. <laughs> <laughs> I'd just bounce from one ice cream to the other. Oh, I've just walked past the guy you killed. I saw oh, his grenade roll down the hill. <laughs> the theater mode. Yeah. The theater mode and the watching things back. Halo, Halo perfected that and did that first properly, I think. It really did. Halo 3's theater mode was awesome. Because it means you can, like, there's no more of that, um. Ha 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 ha, did you see what I did there? Oh. Do you want to boot him? Yeah, I'll boot him. <laughs> just boot him, just for the crack. Um. Come on. I've just booted him. Ooh, that was boot. close. Get out. Oh, shit. I'm so bad at this game. Yeah, the feet more on this was. I mean, look at how many uh, mission of the videos came out of it and stuff. Like that. Just people off um, uh, recording on Forge mode and things. Yeah. Like that. I mean, the, the Forge mode. Yeah, the Rooster Teeth guys doing everything on the Forge mode and that and editing was brilliant. The Forge mode was brilliant. Look at the variation that people have come up with in get in maps and game types and stuff through Forge. I remember how much everybody freaked out and cheered at uh, the E3 when they announced that they had phase mode. <laughs> where not everything had to touch each other. You could put things into each other. Yeah. I remember this the eruption when they were just getting, do you want to see the most incredible thing in the world? You see this rock? No more, you don't. And everyone was getting, Wah! All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, uh, please check out our channel and our other videos and uh, please subscribe. And if there's any games that you want to see us do in the future, feel free to comment below and we'll take a look. Any questions, stick a comment in there as well. Alright, see you later guys. See you later.